Hi everyone, welcome to People Watch, the official podcast of the People Management Association of the Philippines. Here, there are no motherhood statements, no hiding behind obsolete theories and adages, and no time to beat around the bush. Just real talk with real people. I'm Joe Vineer, and I'm supposed to be hosting this with Ms. Joan Chong, but unfortunately for me, she's off somewhere to this very wonderful place outside of the Philippines and when she gets back, babawi po ako. Ako, na po mag, ako naman po mag-absent tapos papabiyahan ko siya dito. <laughs> Revenge is so sweet that way. But again, I hope you're still stuck to our regular programs here and that you're listening always to our podcast available anywhere where you listen to your podcast, whether it's Spotify, it's Apple Podcast, or whatever your preference is. So, This af- well for this episode by the way we are going to talk about s- someone we're going to talk to someone who is so versatile she has crossed over not just different facets of people management but also the different industries yeah naka impress one different industries a wide spectrum po siya and not only limiting herself to human resource management she has actually crossed over to such very interesting roles in the following industries real estate development retail gaming education manufacturing and now nasa hospital po siya hindi po siya she's feeling very much great but nasa hospital siya because that's where she works right now in one of the biggest hospitals in the region she's now in healthcare ladies and gentlemen it is an honor for me to introduce our guest for this afternoon as we talk about people management versatility She is the vice, the senior vice president for business operations of Chonghua Hospital. Please welcome Ms. Minchu Tessina, FPM. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ju. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> we, we are so happy to have you with us. And how are you, Ms. Minchu? Because with Joan around, we usually talk about the weather. And it's always been, you know, the usual rainy sea, especially she's based in Manila. So how about you, Miss Mitch? How are you? I'm very fine. Uh, very busy. Uh, we have been trying to uh, book this particular podcast, no? And then, talagang natuloy na ngayon. So Finally. we're now here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so busy. For those of I also that... actually don't know why you, why the interest in me. <laughs> I've, I've mentioned earlier, how versatile you are in terms of you know saan saan na po kayo industry na punta and i think it's it's the envy of so many of us stager practitioners how, how did it start you know was it was it in is it was it by design miss minch that you are you intended to be you know, first muna I, i i knew you were also part of the academy before so was it intentional in in, in the sense that this was a stepping stone to something bigger, something greater? Yes. Uh, parang, um, I was thinking of when I first came in uh, doing HR work, I was assigned for uh, in timekeeping and I actually did not like it. Yung, I'm still younger. no. And then so I said, if I'm going to be like this, uh, what kind of career would I have? Yeah. And so uh, when other opportunities actually came up, It was kind of marketing. The first, um, the first transition that I did outside of HR was to do marketing, and I loved it. Um, it was creating marketing activities, um, and looking back, it actually gave me a foundation on making sure how to be able to market my ideas in terms of people development. Uh, people projects so i i think hindi rin pala ako nalugi na umalis ako sa hr to go to other uh, functional areas in the organization because i learned a lot of things from mm-hmm. different um, practices no and then uh, eventually i got the perspective of those who are using the hr services So when I went back to doing HR, uh, that's when I was able to make some changes in how we do things in HR. When I do, when I join organizations, I kind of make sure that uh, the processes that we have are easier on the part of 
those who would be using it. Oh, okay. So, so that's the kind of perspective. Bali umikot po yung perspective niyo from from just becoming the service provider alone. Kasi we we provide services, support group tayo palagi in HR. Mm-mm. And then you became, uh, you took a different perspective, naging sa, sa marketing, and then you went back. So that actually yes. are you into being more helpful. Kasi misa hindi natin naiintindihan, like, hindi natin naiintindihan kung bakit magastos yung sales. Kung bakit. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then pag tayo merong gimmick because we go into sourcing and recruitment, that's when we realize. So, ilang taon po muna before kayo nag-shift to marketing? Uh, no. Uh, How many I years did you suffer what? through <laughs> the, the time? <laughs> I all think all I suffered through a year and a half lang. And then I shifted and went to marketing. And then from marketing, I went into uh, business operations. So uh, that's when I had um, an experience in going through, uh, what's this, uh, purchasing, um, oh. finance, and overseeing the the whole operations. Because when I went into academe, I was able to, I was given the opportunity. I think I was, for me, it was a blessing that I was able to handle all the operations of the school mismo. So yes. I had HR, I had finance, I had so so a lot of things went through that. <laughs> so at that I remember it was such an early early time in our careers. Uh, for those of for those of our listeners, because magka, magka batch kami ni, ni Ms. Ms. Minch, actually classmates kami in college. But at such an early age you really expanded your role immediately, Mama, no? Yes, because in those kinds of operations also, since I was also handling HR, I was allowed to do trainings. I was, so I was actually, hindi siya allowed. I was compelled to do you, training so okay. that my my people would be able to uh, to do our functions that was given to us. So, hindi mm-hmm. siya, parang, forced to good to still be practicing the HR concepts. But here's the thing, Joe, when I went into manufacturing, I and I was interviewed for an HR uh, HR director position coming mm-hmm. from the operations side, I really told my boss, my American boss, that um, I didn't have a lot of experience in doing HR work but i still understand uh-huh. the concepts and everything the theories i can still remember but uh being able to to really operationalize it um i might have a difficult time doing that but my american boss said that uh if you still need additional training to make you feel confident to be able to do that then tell me i will be able oh. to support you, you so, so that lucky. was the yeah, that's why I, I will always uh, say that I have been blessed with very good bosses. Mm-hmm. Um, I would credit my bosses yeah. to where I am now, right now. <laughs> yung, yung training na they, they wanted you to be exposed. Because the problem right now, a lot of our yung mga bagong tubo, the new practitioners, they are so specialized in their roles. And meansan, when they are assigned larger scope, na na yung will I be compensated for this? Kasi mas lumalaki yung term. Na yung concept of compensation rather than the, the training and exposure. What were your mental preparations man, when you started expanding, you know, accepting different roles? Lalo pa yung finance na yan, That is so challenging. Uh, until now, I'm still challenged with finance. I really haven't. <laughs> But I wanted to copy from you back in college, Mama. <laughs> You're always at the front. Yeah. But but uh, to to be able to uh, go beyond that uh, difficulty, the the technique is to hire very good people and be humble enough to say that I don't understand this. Can you please explain this further? And how? And how will this connect to this particular project? Um, I'm really not afraid to ask for help, even from um, from my teammates. Mm-hmm. You no, know? so um, that's one. Uh, I think tra- my transition, although not that easy, 
has been um, more or less nag ease through it ako jo if you if you um, understand it because of the attitude that in some areas that's not going to be my strength but i have very good people who would be able to teach me i just need to be more specific about what i would need to know so there's that you need to learn from your own team members ma'am no hindi galing sa iyo lahat when it comes to 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 the learning side so andun talaga yes. from the other, you, you learn from them I, I, this is a curious question knowing my financial background ka na and you understand does that does that mean that whenever you go into budgeting mas better chances of getting approved kasi palagi sa HR we get disapproved sa budget kasi <laughs> palagi ano, hindi priority yeah. para ganoon uh, so in your case ma'am what's the what's the percentage of getting approved when, when you have projects people projects the approvals actually stem from the fact that you can connect your programs to the uh, front facing people especially those mm-hmm. who really take care of the customers like Frontline for needs. example yes if you need if it is a critical strategic initiative that the organization would have um in terms of you know um expanding siguro uh the services of the organization you would need to have uh preparation on the part of the employees who would need to operationalize this so normally you put in a, pro- a people program for that for them to be able to achieve that goal so if um hr knows what's happening in the uh sa sa front sa battlefield of the organization and then you know that you would need to support that it's easier to get approvals uh for those initiatives that's actually how i uh, do things so, so upper hand mas- kanama, if you if you if you get go through those things another yes, question because i would i would um i would compute and we would do simulation especially for my team member uh we do simulation on how much it's going to cost us will we be able to support it and what we would need from management uh for it to sustain what we would want to attain i think that's also the reason why kind of testament siya that when you started with chongwa for example you're the vice president of the human resources division and now you're the senior vice president for business operations and then you're overseeing not just hr but you're also overseeing information technology engineering wow supply chain general services and ito pa corporate legal divisions ang galing do you have a a background in law ma'am or was that more on the labor you no know, labor centers <laughs> centric adjustments in in hr um it's more on uh, we have connections with lawyers because of uh different needs for the organization so uh, the tendency is just to be able to talk to to the lawyers and sometimes triage them and uh guide whoever needs um these specific inputs legal inputs in the organization so that's just where we are right now uh in terms of how our corporate legal uh services division is also structured okay may i just ask at a question i was supposed to ask earlier if you were to give advice to the young at heart especially those who are planning to go into hr What are the top three skills? In top of mind lang, ma'am, the top three skills that they need to have so that hindi lang sila magsasucceed sa si HR but they will be very, very versatile in their roles that they can actually take tackle on different roles and probably expand their positions in the same way that you did. Uh, in terms of skills, um, I would... It's going to be personal skills because nothing is going to be very easy for anybody, no. It's actually going to be more person-centric in terms of um, developing yourself, being open to new learnings. Um it's cliché, but it's actually really true because there are new things that's happening right now. Um 
educate yourself more. Uh, in fact, I was uh, paying for my own education due um, ah, to graduate studies. Own, yes, I did not But want to wait for. <laughs> I did not want to wait for the organization to spend for it because for yeah. me that's my own personal accountability to myself. Exactly, that's admirable. Pag iipunan talaga yes. no, na you ha- you're not limited to. So nagpa-file ka rin ng leave of absence if you have to attend na hindi hindi talaga sanctioned by the company. Yes. Uh but um very fortunately, uh Chongwa Hospital is very very supportive. Oh, yes. Of course. In terms of um learning opportunities for employees, but for mm-hmm. for my own uh personal contentment lang. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> contentment yeah. talaga ang ginamit ko because it's different when somebody spends for that uh, yeah, education, yeah. advanced education, I would rather do it on my own because it has a different meaning to me. No? So, um, with kind of uh, learning, being open and then um, really facing people and trying to get to know what they need. Okay. Yeah, and being very concerned about about people, not just sympathy but empathy. Ano pong pangatlo yes. natin, Ma'am Mitch? Uh, being able to operational operationalize things. Um, talk yeah. okay. is very good because you're able mm-hmm. to um, market your concepts, market your uh, programs, but operationalizing things and really being able to attain what programs are meant to attain is another thing. Yeah, we really need to walk the talk, sabi nga nila. Yes. Yes. So, with with AI creeping into just about every facet of life right now, should we be threatened, Minch? Ano ba dapat ati siya? We, can, we can start to learn about the effects of AI. We should not be uh, so concerned of it as of the moment but we could learn um, how it can um, ease processing of things but I don't really think that all the HR functions can be uh, what's this replaced by AI mga basic lang siguro but remember our focus are uh, relationships with employees I don't think that can building that relationship building that rapport can be uh what's this um can be replaced by an ai you know but i i just heard this this big network sa tv na nagfi-field na ngayon ng ai generated talents ano so <laughs> as newscaster so hindi na po natutulog ang tagapagbalita and and for for a lot of people that is actually threatening but i i believe you're right na we should kasi naman we should look at AI as a tool eh. hindi naman dapat competition right kasi Jude, naman, ang ano kasi di ba um, if it's a newscaster they just read through the news and then deliver yeah. it um, yes. empathically di ba mm-hmm. however our function in in HR is kind of different from that uh, what we do <laughs> is we kind of do active listening mm-hmm. we empathize And then the 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 interchange, the human interchange between two individuals is different, which I yes. don't think an yes. AI will be able to replace. Exactly. So that, that's the reason. Mama, no? Yes, that's the reason why I w- I was saying there might be some functions that can be uh, replaced by AI, but mm-hmm. I don't think all of the all of the human resources functions can Definitely be done. Definitely not. At Coaching, least, mentoring. Na tayo, baka pwede na matanggal yung timekeeping, yes. yung pag-compute yes, ng, yes. Mga, <laughs> ng mga sweldo siguro. The things we hate the most, at least man lang. Bigay na natin. Yes, eh. that's true. Yes. And ma'am, curiosity question. Ano ho ba yung, yes. of all the industries that you've been through so far, which one is, is, is you know, something that really is your, your where you are most passionate in right now? Uh, in healthcare, the the one that I am currently in right now, I've seen the effect of uh, what would happen if our healthcare would be crippled. 
our no. healthcare industry will be crippled, yes. especially if there is pandemic. No, so mm. uh, uh, yes. I have seen what that. happened to the healthcare professionals also during that time. How difficult yes. it was for them. That was really, yeah, it was it was heartbreaking how everyone went through the 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 trauma of the pandemic. Hindi pa naman tapos yung pandemic, eh, but we're 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 managing it much better right now. So. Ito na po, dito na po yung passion nyo. Wala na po ba kayong coveted industry that you want to get into? Ayaw nyo pumasok ng TV na may mga AI na mga news reporters. <laughs> um, ganito, uh, God places me siguro in in the industry where He thinks I, w- I can still be used. Yes. In other words, I can still be used. That's always the the term that I'm going to Um, use when it in, in describing I, I've never dreamed that I will be in the healthcare industry but somebody just offered yes. Uh, yes. this opportunity to me and then it tickled my interest and I said yes and then I realized that it's a very very dynamic industry it's really the master planners you know yes <laughs> The gentle push that shows you the way. Sabi nga nila, if you just if you just open your heart, he will show you the way. Galing. Thank you so much, Mamincho. And kahit po, it was a very short discussion with you. I'm very, very sure that our listeners have picked up so inspiring thoughts about where they are, especially po yung sa HR, because you've gone a long, long way. You've always been an inspiration to all of us, even among your classmates. How, how you went through the different industries and talagang not just you know not just weather the challenges but you were you, you are quite successful in every turn so as as we wrap this up is there any message po na pwede niyong i-share to everyone listening to us and pag mamayabang ko palagi alam ni Martin yan eh na may mga <laughs> may listeners kami sa Mongolia Kenya and we don't really know why but We hope that listening to you will also add up to their experience. Oh, uh, my message would be we are in the place where we are planted because we have a purpose. Yes. So, and the purpose is actually to take care of his people also in our own way. Yeah. So, let's let's be the hope of those individuals. Yes. And, and what is so admirable is that not only did you accept the challenge, but the fact that you invested your own resources just to just to learn more, just to be more skilled. I think again, very admirable. Maminchu Disena, thank you so much once again from Chongwa Hospital, the biggest hospital in the region. And again, on behalf of our team, especially. Martin Alcantara, thank you, Martin, and Miss Sarah Niguas, and of course, the president of PMAP National, Mambeth. Thank you so much, Mambeth Nasol, for actually this was part of her program for the year, and the likes of Martin and Miss Sarah made this happen, and of course, our guests. Thank you so much for contributing and making this a worthwhile show. My thanks again to my partner, and I hope she gets back very, very soon. It kind of gets lonely here. So, Ms. Joan Chuang, see you next time very, very soon. And once again, thank you so much to all our listeners, wherever you are. I hope we can reach you, and thank you. This has been People Watch for People Management Association of the Philippines. Thank you so much.